friends and welcome to my thinking tree. This tree is only about half a mile from my house and I've been coming here for about 10 years. And it's a place I come to when I want to think about things, when I want to cry about things, when I want to just ponder life's greatest questions and I've danced here, I've cried here, I've brought girlfriends here and other friends here. This is just my special little spot. I come here in the summertime, in the springtime, and it just connects me to nature and it grounds me and it, it allows me a time to just reprioritize repri what's important in life. <sighs> yeah, and today it's cold, burr. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do here is to just sit for a little bit, disconnect from phones and media and I just reminisce about the good times in life and adventures and beautiful moments and it just fills my heart with joy and I can be having a hard day or a bummer of a day or I can be frustrated about something and I can just come here and sit and think oh, and it just kind of all magically lifts away and it feels so good it feels like a weight is being lifted off of me. And not only do I think about the past, but I come here to dream about the future and, and plan life and adventures and what I want to do and even as simple as what I want to eat for dinner. And that's usually an easy answer. It's burritos I want to eat for dinner, but I love this spot. I really cherish it. I'm so fortunate that I live so close to nature, so close to these trees, so close to these mountains. And right here today, I can look at these little pine needles covered with little crystals of snow and it's just like wow mother nature is pretty awesome it's pretty incredible it, it's full-on magic and it takes coming outside to see it sometimes i know there's some cool stuff inside your house but there's nothing there's nothing i guarantee in your house that is as cool as crystals on a tree <laughs> you might have a big screen tv that you think is pretty neat but <laughs> This is better. <laughs> this tree doesn't give me any answers. It allows me a space to find my own answers and to get out of my head and to just connect and be here right now. And it's really important for me to do that from time to time because I can get all worked up about stuff in life as I'm sure most humans on this planet can. <sighs> it allows me just a time to deep Deep breathe. I can't talk because my lips are frozen. <laughs> to breathe deeply. Blah, 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 blah. I've been here a few times in the last week because there's been a lot to think about. <laughs> All of us are going through this together. The world is in a very interesting state right now and uh, it's all new to all of us. I mean, and what's really interesting is that everybody can relate. I can call my family in Sweden and they're saying the same things. Yeah, our grocery stores are out of toilet paper and people are buying tons of food. I can call Mexico and other friends in Europe. And it's just, it's fascinating that we're all in on this together. Cause usually when there's like a natural disaster, it's just hyper local to one area that's having an earthquake or a hurricane. And only those people can really relate, but we're all in this together. And uh, I think that's a really good thing. I think it's a really good thing because it's, it's gonna bring us all together. At the end of this, whenever this does end, I think there's gonna be a new world order. And uh, I think there's gonna be a lot more love and togetherness. And it's gonna be hard. Things are gonna get bad and scary and we don't even know what's gonna happen. The future is totally uncertain, but the future is always uncertain, right? If, if we knew what's gonna happen in the future, then life wouldn't be very exciting, right? And I hope all of you are taking good care of yourselves. And I hope all of you, I'm guessing some of you might have your own thinking tree out there, but if you don't have a thinking tree, why don't you go find one? It doesn't have to be on top of a mountain. It doesn't have to be in an epic location, just a nice quiet spot where you can sit and connect with yourself and with nature and with your fellow human beings. And maybe if you're lucky, maybe you live next to a waterfall. You could have a thinking waterfall. You could have a thinking log or bench. It can, it can be whatever, it really can be whatever. And I just wanna let you know that I, I care about all of you. And I thank you for being with me on this journey, my adventures, this, this YouTube thing that I've started. And uh, it, it really means a lot to me 
that uh, you watch my videos. It really does. It means the world to me. So keep on commenting and, and saying hi and taking care of yourselves and your neighbors and your family and your friends. And when we, we could all hug again, man, we're going to have some serious hugs to go around, right? Oh, I haven't hugged anybody in like a week. That's crazy. I hug all the time. It's so important to me. And uh, huh, that's been taken away from us for right now. And it's there's a good reason why but when we get to hug again you guys watch out because i'm gonna i'm gonna hug the crap out of you you know what i'm saying so have a good one stay safe and we'll see you down the road <laughs>